Hey y'all. Hey. And we're back. We're the Owlish Twins. And we're coming with you, coming to you today about, <laughs> about the, <laughs> the, what's, how do I want to say this? The disparity there is between black men and black women and when we date outside of our race. That's a good way to put it. Without having to say black men, white women. Uh, black women, white men. The issue yeah. that we're talking about today is the difference in the way black men feel when black men date outside their race and the way black men feel when black women date outside their race, particularly with white men. When black women date white men and the different their the way the differences of feelings that they have when they do it and when we do it. Right. And vice versa. Or did you say it like that? No, I didn't say it vice versa. And vice versa, because there's some women who have issues with black men when they date out then when they date white women. But I haven't come across a woman, a black woman who has an issue, Who di- if they have an issue with black men dating outside their race, then they also have an issue with black women dating outside their race. They don't feel like it's okay for black women to do it, but it's not okay for black men to do it. And I have, and I've, and I've talked to different men, black men, who feel like it's okay for them to do it. But when a black woman does it, they feel like, especially when a black woman dates a white man, they feel they have very strong feelings about it. Um, and I guess I never thought about it like that. I, let, let's just start from giving our our point of view on it. Basically, okay. how we feel about dating outside, not outside your race, dating white men. I don't have an issue with dating a white man. I don't feel like I'm very attracted to white men. But if I did come across a white man that I was attracted to and I wanted to date, I would date him. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't have an issue dating outside your race and I don't have an issue dating black men. I don't have an issue with black men dating white women. Um there are some white men that I've been attracted to. I don't think white men are attracted to me. I do feel like white men are more attracted to darker black women. Yeah, I don't pull white men. Yeah. Um, and I never have. Not that it's an issue or nothing that don't bother me, but yeah. yeah. I, I don't pull white men and I, I mean, never have. It, yeah, it just is what it it's is. It's just what it is, but yeah. yeah, I don't. Okay, so that's where we stand on it. I don't, I don't care what you do. I mean, it's so hard to find real love and true love and somebody who will love you for you and have your best have your best interests at heart and um and it, however you could eloquently state that till why would I let race right hinder it? Right. Race shouldn't be a hindrance. But no buts. No buts. No buts. Race should not be a hindrance. Therefore <laughs> it's not no it's not the same thing therefore we feel like like she just said love who you love and love and not just love who love you but if they love you don't turn them away like i said it's hard to find someone to who really is there for you who really holds your heart and if they gonna do that and protect your heart why would you push them away i mean we could go into looks and all that stuff that's not what we're talking about today so the issue came about with one of the one of the things that came about were brought this to my attention, not brought it to my attention, but made me want to really talk about it, was the girl from Queen and Slim. And um, she is married to the white man, right? I think she's married to the white man. I y'all, I didn't read the articles and everything, but just reading the titles and stuff, it just it just rubbed me the wrong way. Why do we care? You know, I think sometimes when you see a pretty dark female with naturally short black hair, we just think black power, <laughs> right? And so when you see that and you and you see that she's married to a white man, you just get all up in airs. And I'm like, why? It's okay if she looks like me. It's okay if she's light-skinned and... and uh, 
long hair and you know whatever and she's married because then y'all thinking oh she probably just go for something else anyway but if she's dark skin a naturally short twa and she just y'all yeah, just y'all just go all up in airs you can't believe especially after the movie she just made but it's really that that that's not true like what you where you said that white men aren't checking for you that's one thing but yeah. but they came at samira maori the same way they come they coming at her the girl from queen and slim i'm so sorry i don't know her name y'all mm-hmm. They came at Tamira Maori the exact same way, calling her a bed wench and telling her that she was selling out when her daddy is white. Her dad's white, yeah. Her daddy is white. So if, th- sh- of course, she would see herself having a relationship with a white man if her daddy is white. I don't even understand why they you would did. even call. That. That's I just that's that. just like calling her mother. Like, I'm going to call you a bed wench. Your mama must be a bed wench, too. So I could see how that could be so damaging and so hurting to her. So what the conversation was, one thing that a guy was going back and forth saying is that not too many white men want us anyway. He don't see he don't see white men checking for us, period. And if you have uh if you have somebody a woman black in your family who is married or have a good relation with a white man, it's only few and far between because white men don't want us. But you know what? If I sit down, I think about it, a lot of it. I don't feel like the black men want us all the time either. Because when you start and you sit and you see what they say, they, all they all I get is issues. I I'm in a, a I don't mind in a whole bunch of Facebook groups, but the ones that I'm in that's relationship wise with single people with single men, the issues that they have with black women, and it's never solution based. It's always pointing fingers. Y'all this and y'all that. Y'all this and y'all that. You know, and I'm, I am I get tired of reading it. And I can't stand when a guy come at me and the first thing he say about what black women are. What about what can we do to fix it? What about we like that, but I don't see that in you. Because I haven't right. exhibited any of those things to you, but you still have this issue. Right, right. Um, so that's my issue. Like if you want, if you don't want us to go and seek something, somebody who loves us outside our race, then give us something to want. Give us something to admire. Don't have an issue with it. If you have an issue with, with a, uh, one of your black women potentially going to a white man, be what you want us to want. Be something for us to want. And I have a cousin who told me that he said it's all right. He said it's good when black men date white women because of slavery. Because of the way black men were treated. Then it's okay for black men to date white women now. And they can treat the white women however they want to treat them in their relationships. However, on the flip side, it's not okay for black women to date white men. Because white men are getting the good end of the stick still. So it's like black men can date white women and it'll be... um a come up for them they because they see it because they see it as an accomplishment they see it as an accomplishment yeah. and they and so they don't want white men to date black women because they don't want white they date men down. yeah they don't want white men to have that same come up um but you no, know face it black women I, I this is how i feel when it comes to if i had to rank us on a totem pole of the want for men of whatever race, I'm going to put us low on the totem pole. We're not number one. We're not who they seek out first. And that's all over the world. All yeah. over the world, darker skinned people are not seen as desirable. All but over women, the world. Women, women in general. If and I had be- to put black women, white women, Hispanic women, whatever other women, if I had to put us in, a, had to rank us in a line, we are last. We are all, we're last. Yes, I agree. We are I last, agree. and we're so, last. But in saying all that, I will always uplift my black man. I will always put him first. I will. He's a king. He will always be a king, and I will never bad mouth him to another man. 
Especially ever. somebody ever. outside my race. Ever. Ever. That's never going to happen. That's never going to. I'm mm-hmm. not going to ever stand up and compare a white man to a black man. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do There's it. There's no comparison. There isn't. And I'm, and I'm always going to be the one that's rooting for him. I'm always going to be the one that's in his corner that wants, look, I'm just like Issa Rae. I'm rooting for everybody black every day, all day. That's, that's just who I am. And that's what I stand for. That's just what it is. And so in saying that, if and you I can, can, I'm sorry, Ronnie, and I can do that. I can still do that. I can still root for every black man to succeed and to be well and date outside my race. I can still do that. I can still want to see black men succeed and date outside my race. They are not mutually exclusive. I can't have one without the other. I can. I can have both at the same dog on time. Yeah, and, and that goes to say, if you choose to date outside your race, let it be because let it be for love. Don't let it be because you just can't stand your race. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and those men who who dog black women and say we're loud and all of the negative things that they say about us because our black men are lazy and don't want to do nothing. They just want to play a game and lay up on your couch and whatever whatever stereotype you want to say about the other uh, sex. Yeah, I'm not gonna ever be that person to say I'll never date so and so. I'm not going to ever be that person that will say, I'll never do such and such and such and such. Because as long as you live, you will find yourself doing exactly what you said you wasn't never, ever, ever going to do. You just never know. So just don't never say it. <laughs> you just don't know. How life how life is going to turn up and where you're going to end up. You just don't know. You have to find out. I think this is, I think this, I think this conversation, um, I think this video is good for great conversation and I would love that, you know, whoever watches to actually, actually comment their thoughts in the comments so that we could keep the conversation going and possibly make a new, make another video on it so that we can expand on what we said. Our thoughts and, um, and find out what the girl from Queen of Sugar name is. Yeah, by that time, maybe we'll Google it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I meant we should Google it. I yeah. couldn't Google it. But um but I mean even Afri Water, who would knew who would think she was married to a white man, but go Afri for love. You know, people have stuff to say about any any any, any. anything that's outside of the norm. Outside they're gonna norm. say something and they're mm-hmm. gonna push back against it. But first and foremost, it ain't none of nobody business. It ain't none of nobody business except who I marry but me. That's the only person that, that that concerns. There's nobody business who she marries but her. Nobody else is concerned. We all going to have our opinions, but that's what they are, opinions. Or suggestions. You can make a suggestion if you like. However, at the end of the day, when it all boils down to it, it's my choice. And I'm going to do what I feel is right for me. If I make a mistake, I made a mistake. We all been there and did it. It's his life. <laughs> his life but i hope i hope that we get this up new this this video up and out by new year's adam <laughs> she means the day before new year's eve Tomorrow. <laughs> so i'm just learning the new system so i'm gonna work on it because the last time i thought i was doing it and i wasn't doing it right and it took me a couple of days but she gonna tell me what to do i'm gonna do it and we're gonna get it out by tomorrow so i want to say happy sunday happy new year to everybody happy new year we're going into a new year a new decade god god willing and pray that your christmas was everything that you had wished and hoped it would be yeah we i wish prosperity no you don't i hope no I wish I know I want to wish it. I I I want everybody to have prosperity and growth, and I want to wish it because I don't want to wish it. Oh, you don't want to wish it. I'm yeah, like I don't you don't wish it. That's why I said I hope everybody have prosperity. I hope you have Your everything. Your eyebrows are pretty. Thank you. I hope everything that you want in the new year um, comes to fruition. I hope, sacrifice and work on everything that we want so that we can be better diligence 
in the next decade. We have to give up knowing that we have to give up some stuff. Sacrifice, diligence, and dedication. Knowing that we have to give up some stuff to get some stuff. Like we might have to, to give get up what some we sleep. want. We might have to give up some sleep. We might have That'd to give up hard. getting some hair done or give up and do it. You know, hard. you might have to give up getting certain things, luxuries that we Nails. do for things that we want. And exactly. that's all well and good because that's it's what sacrifice everybody have to give to do. Up. Yeah. Um, that and um, it's only a few people born with silver spoons in their mouth. Everybody else have to work for what they if have. I can be Trump, so <laughs> a small loan of a million dollars. Yeah. yeah, so, but I just pray. I just I just pray that everybody, you know, I see good things for my future this year. I I pray that that whatever comes to hinder it don't be a stopping block to make me stop but just keep pushing for it and whatever decisions that i have to make i make them and i keep going um that's a great place to start out the new year mm -hmm. y'all i don't believe in vision boards anymore why uh, i do believe that we can manifest things for ourselves but sometimes i just think vision boards end up behind something and start gaining dust they do they um do. i rather i rather put something down and, and work towards a goal yeah uh -huh. yeah that's why right. so but um, don't say I'm not saying don't do a vision board. That might work for you. <laughs> <laughs> it don't. It just never worked for me. It just it was something pretty to say. Oh, I really want, but it wasn't a goal. You know what I'm saying? I didn't make it up. I didn't make it. I didn't take what I had on that vision board and actually write it down to make it an actual goal for myself. Some things I did, but it was never really not in the vision board. It was just pretty at the time. I agree, cause uh, I agree with that. I do agree with that, and I I made a few. A few a few, <laughs> a few vision boards, few. <laughs> and I did work towards some goals. I did, but I can't see where anything has actually manifested. But right. I did work towards those goals, right? So, but and I'll be working towards them still. <laughs> look, look, as, long, as long as we living, we have we should have goals to work towards. As long as we live, we got a chance to work towards them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Ain't nothing amen. stopping amen. us from amen. doing them but, but us. Yep. So. Amen. As long as we live in, we still have a chance to do. And change. And grow. And be. Yep. And so, <laughs> that's the I Wish Twins tonight on our, what is this? The New Year's weekend? The weekend before the new the year? The weekend before the new year. This is the last Sunday of the year. Cain and Abel. <laughs> the last Sunday night of the year. The new year is Cain and Abel. <laughs> Y'all, please like, share, subscribe to our videos. And Hit you know what? And I, and I, not to stop you real quick, but I have been saying things, but you know, because I don't ever say that. I just think people going to do what they're going to they gonna do. But I have been saying, you nobody watch it anyway, but I'm going to manifest that people are going to watch this video. Don't watch it. Watch it and thumbs up. Thank uh, you. Yes. Thank you so much to all the fairies. We love you. And please come back and spend some time with the Howish Twins. Toodles. Toodles.